Mackenzie Phillips' collection of essays, Hopeful Healing, Essays on Managing Recovery and Surviving Addiction, offers a deeply personal and insightful exploration of addiction, recovery, and the enduring hope that can emerge from the darkest of experiences. Phillips, known for her acting career and her own battles with addiction, draws on her personal journey and professional expertise to provide a unique perspective on the challenges and possibilities that come with recovery. The book's strength lies in its candid and unvarnished portrayal of addiction. Phillips does not shy away from the gritty details of her own struggles, and her willingness to share the most painful and raw aspects of her journey lends the essays a compelling and authentic quality. She confronts the reader with the brutal realities of addiction, making it clear that recovery is far from a straightforward path. Her personal anecdotes, such as her description of the first time she used a substance, create a vivid and relatable narrative that invites readers to empathize with her experiences. One of the central themes of the book is the idea of hopeful healing. Phillips emphasizes that recovery is a continuous process, often marked by setbacks and relapses. Her writing reflects the belief that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, there is always hope for a better, healthier future. She illustrates this through her own journey of recovery, showing that relapses and struggles are part of the healing process. This resilience and unwavering hope are perhaps the book's most inspiring elements. The essays in this collection also shed light on the complexities of addiction and recovery. Phillips delves into the psychological, emotional, and physical aspects of addiction, presenting a holistic view of the disease. She acknowledges the self-destructive behaviors and the harm caused to oneself and loved ones, but also emphasizes that addicts are not simply bad people. She highlights the importance of compassion and understanding in the recovery process, both from others and for oneself. Furthermore, hopeful healing serves as a valuable resource for individuals in recovery and their loved ones. It provides practical insights and strategies for managing the challenges that come with addiction. Phillips offers advice on how to navigate the stigma and shame associated with addiction, as well as tips on building a support network and seeking professional help. Her personal experiences and the lessons she has learned through her own recovery journey make her guidance all the more valuable and relatable. Phillips also delves into the impact of addiction on families and relationships, addressing the pain and trauma that loved ones often experience. She encourages open communication and understanding between addicts and their families, emphasizing the need for healing on both sides. This theme adds depth to the book, making it relevant not only for those struggling with addiction but also for their friends and families. The book's only potential weakness is its occasional lack of structure. The essays are loosely organized, and there is a lack of clear transitions between topics. While this may mirror the unpredictability of addiction, some readers may find it challenging to follow the narrative flow. A more structured approach with distinct sections or chapters could enhance the book's overall readability. In conclusion, Hopeful Healing, Essays on Managing Recovery and Surviving Addiction, by Mackenzie Phillips is a powerful and raw exploration of addiction and recovery. Through her personal experiences, Phillips offers a unique perspective on the challenges and possibilities of healing. Her unfiltered honesty and emphasis on hope make this book a valuable resource for individuals in recovery and their loved ones. While the lack of a structured organization may be a minor drawback, the book's overall impact is profound, reminding us that even in the darkest of times, there is always the potential for hopeful healing.